City will say goodbye to a true hero. A wake will be held today in Brooklyn for fallen FDNY firefighter Timothy Klein. His funeral will be held tomorrow. Klein killed battling a fire in Brooklyn when he became trapped during a ceiling collapse on Sunday. Pixelman's Kirsten Cole joining us live this morning from Brooklyn with much more. Sad day for the department, his family, and really the city as a whole, Kirsten. And these are the heartbreaking rituals that New Yorkers and families of firefighters unfortunately have to go through. Brother and sister firefighters will line up today in order to pay final respects to their brother firefighter, Timothy Klein. He died in the line of duty. His mother, his sisters, his family will be here along with city leaders, all to show love and honor to one of New York's very own. He died battling a blaze in Canarsie earlier this week. It was a house fire where he was desperately trying to save lives, but one of the residents in that house also lost his life. He was a six year veteran. It was a ceiling collapse that trapped him inside. And not only is he a firefighter, but Timothy Klein, he is a son, he is a brother, he is a boyfriend. Firefighters line the streets here outside the McManus funeral home. In the flatland section of Brooklyn. As Timothy Klein's body was brought here for his funeral, his fire ladder 170 taking place in another gut wrenching ceremony, draping the building in ceremonial bunting of black and purple, the colors of mourning. And it's the second time in three years they've had to endure this ritual after firefighter Steve Pollard died in the line of duty in 2019. His cousins remembering the man that he is and how much he gives to the city. Both grew up wanting to be firefighters, and we were lucky enough to call ourselves firefighters just like our dads did. Timmy understood the risks, we all do. Growing up with a firefighter family. Klein is a native of Breezy Point. He will be remembered and survived by his parents as well as three younger sisters and a girlfriend. His funeral to be held in Bell Harbor tomorrow after today's wake. The mayor expected to attend today's services. We are live this morning outside of the McManus Funeral Home in the Flatland section of Brooklyn. I'm Kirsten Cole, PIX11 News. Back to you, Dan and Hazel. And I'm sure many New Yorkers will be showing up too to show their respects. Kirsten, thank you. It's 7.30.